All right. So, what has this season uh, been like for you? Um, even though three and three, one and, or one and three in the Gene X, some some ups and downs, and after so much success, you know, especially last year, what is it? What have you seen uh, from, from you guys this year? Um, you know, what I've seen is uh, collaboration is huge this year. Um, coming together as a team, as a family, not just playing football, but playing uh, for each other. Um, I think it's the biggest difference from last season to this season. Um, I feel like we're on the brink of being something explosive like we were last season. Um, and, you know, it's, you know, we've had some ups and downs as, you know, we were talking about um, being one and three. Um, and, yeah, so I feel like uh, we're on the brink of being something explosive, and I feel as if, uh, you know, just the collaboration aspect and coming together is a huge factor this season um, in the process that we're having. Uh, the Jack's known for uh, scoring points uh, in, in the red zone, yeah. and you know, obviously uh, with injuries that might make rely more on your leg and you know kicking the field goals. Um, do you feel like more of uh, you got to be even more ready? Uh, you know, with all the injuries and maybe the times when coach is going to call your name. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, what I do for the team is kind of expected. No matter what, uh, you know, if Coach Smith calls me out for a field goal, it's because he expects the field goal to happen and to get the job done and execute as we do in practice. Um, I don't feel like it puts any more pressure on me than it usually does. I feel like I'm just, you know, I'm the field goal kicker and I'm just doing my position, uh, you know, so. Um, anything from uh, an extra point to a field goal? Um, what goes through your mind? Do you gotta, you know, put the crowd out, just everything else, and just kick? What is that like when you line up? Uh, you know, it, it does differ from a PAT to a field goal. Uh, PAT is pretty, pretty straightforward and something, you know, it's automatic. Uh, when you do back up from a PAT, you know, I, I find myself kind of getting the tunnel vision. I, you know, once once I get my steps back and. I'm set. It's I don't really hear anything anymore. I just focus on the snap and the hole, and just everything kind of silences down. So it's kind of just in my zone. Uh, being on this Jacks team, uh, a lot of victories, lopsided victories. Uh, last year, a lot of them, and uh, hasn't given you a chance to, you know, that game-winning kick and that sort of thing. But is that something that you that you're just waiting for? Just is it something that that you look for? Uh, you know, I've been kicking for quite some time now. Uh, I don't look for it. Um, you know, if it does happen, it happens, and there's a reason why it happens. There's a reason to everything, I believe. Um, so I don't go looking for it, but there has been a couple times where I've gotten myself close to being ready to hit that, and it, you know, we still got Jaquan popping out of, popping out of the piles and taking it, you know, six. So, um, but yeah, you know, I'm ready for it if it's there. Um, yeah. When uh, you know you're facing these other GNAC teams, you know, tw twice a year. Are this kind of competing? Maybe there might be a court, you know, a kicker from Central, a kicker from Western Oregon that, you know, hits that one kick, and you want to kind of, you know, hey, hey, you can do that too, and kind of, you, you know, help a team. Is there anything like that, or kind of like friendships or rivalries against, you know, other kickers uh, in the GNAC? Um, you know, I'm kind of silent when I go out there. You know, a lot of at halftime, you know, a lot of these guys want to like talk and chat it up and kind of get to know who you are as like a kicker. Um, when I see you know a team go for a pretty distant kick, um, kind of excites me. You know, kind of makes me want to see what what kind of uh, what kind of kickers we do have in the GNAC, and you know, um, I think it's a I think it's kind of a cool thing to kind of uh, you know when I do get the opportunity to actually go talk to them at halftime. It's kind of cool talking to them because you know it's just kind of like a friendship type of thing, and it's no really hate, you know. Even though you they are enemy and opponent at the time, you know, it's still uh, it's a cool thing to kind of get to know one another at halftime for that split couple of minutes that you do get. So, what are your thoughts when you see a coach that will call a timeout to try to ice the kicker? Do you, do you feel like it's something that that really works, or something like, hey, thanks, I get the really, you know, the guy, it's just I'm waiting another thirty seconds or so. Do you, do you feel like it's something that can really get in the heads of kickers? Do you see anything that works or? Um, I think that's a good question. I think everybody's different. So 
Um, it'd be hard for me to answer, you know, anybody else's thoughts and opinions. But for me, yeah, I mean, icing, icing a kicker. I haven't been iced by another team. Uh, I've had to the point where, you know, coach wants to call a timeout to get everybody ready and set up for field goal, make sure our protection's there, which that doesn't bother me. Um, you know, it gives us time to calm down, you know, relax, talks to us. Uh, you know, we're going to be okay. And we just go out there and do our thing like we do in practice and make it happen. What is the feeling after kicking along a field goal? I know for a baseball player, hitting you know, the ball over the wall, you know, for a kicker, especially making, a, you know, a kick if it's, what, past 30, 40, you know, getting up there in the yardage, uh, what is that feeling like? Uh, it's, it's a great feeling. Um, at the same time, like I was talking about earlier, though, it's expected and we do work on that in practice. You know, the distance that we do hit in games, we do, uh, we do replicate that in practice. And um, when you're in front of a crowd that's up 12,000 people, uh, you know, it does get a little exciting. So adrenaline is rushing and it's a great feeling. And like you said, it's like hitting a home run almost, you know, because you're, you're so far back. So. Uh, last question. Uh, do you, uh, is, is the coach to stay hey, if there's that time when you either go after a tackle or something like that where the team says stay away or hey, go, go after the guy with the ball? Uh, can you rephrase that one more time? I mean, I guess say if it's, uh, you know, say the other team gets the ball or it's kickoff or it's something where the team has the ball, are you going to go after and make that tackle? I know, like, uh, you know, there's kickers that will go out. Sometimes they'll say, hey, you, you know, they want to, you know, stay healthy, but is it something where you get a joy out of field goals, but you'd rather get a joy of making a tackle, I guess, uh, to kind of phrase that. Uh, yeah, um, you know, as part of kickoff, you know, it's transition from scoring points booting the ball and then turning around and having that whole line stop them and if they do get back you know I'm the last line of defense so for me I take that very serious um, I yeah I go and make the tackles I don't I make sure that you know they get touched you know uh, I don't let them go by nice you know I don't give up so that's definitely good stuff learning more about kicking Appreciate it. I got one question for you, Cameron. Uh, obviously, you know, this is your senior season, and uh, you've had a chance to play on a great team last year, and this year's team is, you know, story's still kind of being written about what the, what this year's team will be. But uh, you've made a name for yourself kind of in the record books. You've got the extra points, you know, moving up. I think you're actually in second place all time with extra points right now. Um, do you ever think about the kind of legacy that uh, that you'll have when you do leave Humboldt State as, as really a, one of the better kickers in program history? Um, well, I, I didn't even know that. Um, that'd be a question I'd really have to kind of sit and marinate with. I never really even thought about that, to be honest with you. Um, it's kind of surprising that you told me that, which is it's pretty nice to hear. Uh, at the same time, I do I do expect to like leave a legacy behind and, you know, um, for the third of the game that we always consistently talk about. Um, I think it's important to have a strong a strong uh, special teams unit. Uh, it's a huge aspect of the football game. Um, but as far as records go, uh, you know, I, I don't really know what to say about that. I think, I think I'm just doing my job and whatever I can do to help the team. And if, you know, if it makes it up on the record books, it makes it up on the record books, you know just here to uh, do my job and execute, so.